three, two, one. Hi, Stan with 3D PT. And for today, um, I'm getting ready to do a project to build an enclosure around my printers. I'll do a separate video around that. Uh, but for now, the project is going to take some brackets. And I've got a lot of kind of older PLA that is co was cool to print with. I reviewed it on 3dprinterchat.com. Uh, it's from IC. Um, but I got it a couple of years ago before I really got good at storing my filament. And about a year ago, it got so damp that it just wouldn't print at all. Uh, so one thing you always want to look out for is if you get your filament and it snaps like that, um, that's a sign. That's a good sign that your filament's soaked up a lot of moisture and it's gotten really brittle. So what I'm going to do is um, I've got a big batch of it that I'll need for these brackets um, and it's good filament just to get rid of for like projects where you don't really care how it looks um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put it through the dehydrator now for PLA your formula is um, you want 45 degrees or 113 degrees 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit for four to six hours I've got a large batch here of filaments. These are all PLA based, but unfortunately, yeah, they have gone bad. So I need to dry them out, and I'm gonna use some other filament just to get started. Um, other ways to tell that your filament's gone bad, um, if you print it and it gets really stringy or clogs up your nozzle. Um, also, if you hear a lot of pops or hisses, and if you actually look while it's printing and it's puffing out little bits of uh, steam, then your filament soaked up a lot of moisture. And when it does that, really the only thing you could do to dry is dry it out. All right, so um, I'm going to stack all my all the filaments in one batch. Um, this is a pretty large food dehydrator. You could do this in an oven. And for this to program in it, it's plugged in already. Close the door. Put my cheat sheet up there. So, timer. I'm gonna do six hours and temperature. Perfect, 113. Um, so, this is set to run for six hours. Um, this is a lot of filament here to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run every couple of hours. Um, the heating element on this type of food dehydrator, the heating element's in the back, and it goes forward and up. So I'm going to come around and, chain and just rotate the trays around every couple of hours. So something I forgot to do is you can take those silica gel packs that you get, and you can actually put them inside it and uh, dry them out. So it's been about, eh, just about two hours, so I'm gonna rotate all the trays around. And mainly this is just to uh, get a different end facing the uh, heating coil of the dehydrator. And I, this is big enough that I could put some space in between. If you have a chance to do that, that gives you more airflow going up. Okay, um, I ran it for six hours last night and didn't get to take it out until now. So a quick way to check is find a piece, find the end. and take it and if you could still bend it and it's flexible then you know your filament's dried out so that's a little disconcerting but that was pretty far so yeah right now it's not brittle so this is a good sign 
Thank you for watching. Uh, so for PLA filament, um, generally you could go about six months without drying it. Um, anything more and you'll probably have to dry it after that. Um, or if you're planning a big print job, it might be a good idea to prepare beforehand by drying your batch of PLA just to make sure. Um, you could dry other filaments. Nylon you have to dry. Uh, PETG you probably do have to dry after three to five, six months. Um, other filaments, generally you can go about a year to six months without drying them, uh, depending on your humidity and conditions. So that's how you take care of your filament. Um, you're not going to be... So when you do this, plan ahead in terms of if you have big projects, dry your filament out beforehand. Um, if you do a lot of small prints, you can probably get by, but if you have filaments you don't use all the time, make sure to dry them in a, a box, dry box with silica. Um, what also works is you can get a damp rid, and I'll put an affiliate link below. Um, this is good for like drying out whole closets, and I put them inside of my... Uh, 18 gallon totes and I store all my filament in those that way they're all in one place and with the silica it dries them out so for my next project um, you can probably hear the printer in the background I'm gonna make an enclosure so here's kind of the prototype idea that I'm starting with um, another person has put a link online for quarter pieces where you use uh, half inch PVC and this is just a prototype bracket and the idea is uh, I'm going to use this old uh, school foam board to enclose it so the next video I make will be making this enclosure in full scale for my lesbots thank you for watching um, if you have any questions please email me stan at 3dpt.club uh, otherwise make sure to ring the bell and subscribe and if you have any other things, please visit my site at 3dpt.club. Thank you.